national spotlight, some yep. big games, Washington and USC, an I, unranked USC. Unranked. I think that's a huge game uh, and, and a huge on, on many levels. If USC is going to come back and be the USC that we know of old, they got to get this game. I know it's on the road, but they've won five straight, and four of those five, they score 40 points or more. And uh, they got a couple pretty good wins in there, too. Uh, you know, this could be a really benchmark game for USC. And let's face it, Washington has a has a target on his back because nobody believes them. Nobody thinks they're one of the top four teams in the nation, even though they're undefeated. The the poll, the uh, uh, B, not BCS poll, but the college playoff poll didn't have them among the top four last week. So, you know, there's a lot of people that don't believe them. So they got to go out and step up and make their mark too. So I expect this game to be really competitive, really, really uh, hard fought. And uh, the winner's going to come out of this feeling pretty good. Then you got Baylor and Oklahoma. Yes, another uh, uh, Texas-Oklahoma uh, showdown. You know, I, it's, it's at Baylor, I believe. Yes. Um, you know, I still like Oklahoma. Baylor's got so much stuff going on around it, around the program. I don't know how you can keep buying into them. They fall into what? They, they're barely in the top 20. I think they're 25 now. Um, you know, I, uh, Oklahoma. All, all the way now, now, actually, the game's at Oklahoma, but I, I don't think it matters. I, no. I think Oklahoma is going gonna, is gonna to beat Baylor yeah. regardless of where the game's being played. Yeah. So what other games can we look at? Uh, I think another one to kind of keep an eye on maybe is, is uh, West Virginia and Texas, uh, a little bit like USC and Washington. Uh, West Virginia's number 11, Texas is unranked, but Texas has beaten two ranked teams and they've beaten them both at home and they get West Virginia at home. That, that could be one to watch as well.